And Tony Robbins literally sat in the front row and took as much notes, as, if not more notes, than the delegates himself. So back in 1996, all he was back then was a master of ceremonies, an MC. He used to step up on stage and just say, the next speaker is, and the next speaker is. So the people that we got to spend the, the, the six long days were, were Sir John Templeton, at that time was, uh, who died last year as the 11th richest man in the world. Um, Peter Lynch, um, the Beardstown ladies, Matt Cito, founders of Federal Express, founders of The Body Shop. Anita Roderick was there. Anita Roderick is founder of The Body Shop. She got the longest and uh, loudest standing ovation. So these people literally spent a couple of hours distilling their decades of knowledge and experience into days. And needless to say, we took loads of notes. And I came back to Ireland. At that time, I was working as a salmon farmer um, in Donegal. That's what took me to Donegal. I'm Reggie from Mayo in the West, but I've been in Donegal now for um, over 24 years. So I had, no, <coughs> I had no finance background whatsoever, no accountancy background, no business back background. I was just an employee working for uh, a company. My background was in science. So if you're sitting there and you hear me talking about the stock market, and you, you're bringing up some limiting beliefs, like, you know, I'd be never any good at that. I'm not, not good at finance. I'm not good at accountancy. I'm not good at um, <clears throat> figures and stuff. Stop yourself, because I guarantee you that each and every one of you here in the room can be successful in the stock market. The only thing that's holding you back is you. I have, as Donna said, over the last 10 years, taught over 20,000 people in 30 different countries in five different languages. And I can tell you that it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter how long you went to school, it doesn't matter whether you left school at 14 or 15, it doesn't matter if you left school at 26 with too much education, it doesn't matter. All that matters is you make a commitment to yourself that you're going to learn how it works. That's all you have to do, because it is very, very simple step-by-step -step system that I'm going to share with you here today. So, what, what I, the challenge that I'm going to give to you is that if you take as many notes as you possibly can, and if you have any questions at the end, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a question and answer session. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through four simple steps. So the notes that I want you to take, want you to take from the get-go, that in order to be successful in the stock market, it's just down to four <clears throat> simple things. And the four simple things are, is that you've got to find a quality company. So you want to write that down first. I've got to learn how to find a quality company. And what do I mean by quality? Well, there are about 30,000 companies that you could go on the internet today, press a few buttons, and buy shares in. So you imagine, there's 30,000 companies, but your goal is to find the best. And that's what I'm going to share with you. So step number one is find a quality company. Step number two is you've got to find when it's good value for money. So that's the second step. So it's a good quality company, but it's also good value for money. For the ladies in the room, you find the January sales, not the Christmas rush. Okay? So the ladies do extremely well in the stock market. I read it in a book about 13 years ago that ladies are better